Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the next topic is synchronization methods. Synchronization methods. Here the name itself synchronization method means so synchronization means two alternators are connected in parallel. Two alternators connected in parallel is the first thing or one alternator is one alternator is connected with the grid also connected with grid connected with the grid also these two cases are the synchronizing methods we can call it as here generally the synchronizing method synchronization is done by the lamp method so by using the lamp method here in this lamp method again we can use the two methods in the lamp method first three lamps are simultaneously dark or bright so if three lamps are become simultaneously dark or bright like this and second method one dark and two lamps are equal bright one dark and two lamps are equal bright so by these two methods we can done this so when we are connecting so that is a process we will we will discuss about this okay so that means here three lamps are connected like this one lamp is between r phase and r phase and one lamp is between y phase and y phase one lamp is between d phase and d phase okay in this when r supply is both are same simultaneously dark otherwise simultaneously bright will become right one dark two lamps are equal bright so this is also the method by using the synchronization so this is enough for this next steps for synchronization so what are the steps we are using for the synchronization next point first observe all three lamps are simultaneously dark or bright for connected phase sequence if not interchange any two phases right so for example if we have a one phase one phase is the r phase and another phase is the y phase another phase is the b phase so if we are connecting in this in this path we have the r dash is the path and in this path we have the y dash is the path and in this path we have the b dash is the path three paths are available okay so if if we connecting so any if we connecting a any lamp if it is the one lamp is there one lamp is there when supply is given r is this this direction and r dash is the another direction then it will simultaneously dark or bright this it will be simultaneously dark or bright it will be possible next if it is not possible then interchange any two then it is like this if both are connected in same phase r is like this and r dash is like this and y is like this and y dash is also like this and b is like this here b dash also like this b dash also like this so if these are parallel connection if these are the parallel connection then 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 will be synchronization will be done this is not possible synchronization this is the exact synchronization this is exact synchronization next next point adjust the flickering rate as minimum as possible so generally when the lights connected uh, to synchronization is will be done the flickering rate is possible flickering rate means so so if having some phase difference between the phases some flickering rate is possible as minimum as possible such that two systems are said to be nearly same frequency that means if flickering rate is minimum if the flickering rate is minimum if the flickering rate is minimum that means we are try to decreasing this then then automatically both uh, machines so machine one and we are doing the machine two 
both will be synchronized both will be synchronized here right so at that condition close that switch middle of the dark position so when it will become middle of the dark position simply close that then automatically the synchronization will be done synchronization will be done synchronization is steps having three the first thing you have to do first thing observe all three simultaneously dark or one light and two dark and second adjust the flickering rate as minimum as possible third close the switch middle of the dark position close the switch middle of the dark position okay so this is the synchronization process for the any two machines next we have a one problem an alternator is frequency of 50.2 h okay connected in parallel with infinity bus bar of frequency of 50 h through dark lamp methods through the dark lamp methods then the flickering of bulb per minute is flickering of the bulb per minute value is how much the value then then we will find out the solution for this here here the alternator frequency you know that the 50.2 hedges okay and um, we have the infinity bus bar frequency is the 50 hedge okay so by the dark lamp method so we want to find out this we should do the difference between the frequency fa minus f that means 50.2 minus 50 then we will get the 0.2 hedge then we will get the 0.2 hedge okay so here 0.2 hedge means for one second we have the 0.2 flickering rate is possible for 60 seconds how much of the flickering rate is done for 60 seconds so here x equal to 0.2 into 60 then we are be become 12 so 12 so 12 flickerings per minute is possible 12 flickerings per minute is possible by doing this that means 12 times light will be on off is done 12 times of light will be on off is done per minute per minute okay this is the problem whenever he is asking about the flickering next next we will discuss about the when two alternators are connected in parallel at no load condition if two alternators are connected alternators are connected in parallel at no load condition for example so here we have the one alternator that alternator is connected to the prime mover so prime mover generally connected to the rotor and rotor rotor excited by the field current if field current if and then we have the stator so rotor is generally having synchronous impedance that is we can take this is the first alternator then i will take it as a zs1 and the second rotor is like this second alternator is also same we have the field current and here also zs2 is there zs2 is there okay and this is the prime mover and this is the prime mover and is given to the supply 400 volts and 50 h 400 volts and 50 h then supply will be given to the 400 volts and 50 h right so here when these two alternators are operated in parallel so some disturbance will be occur disturbance will be occur so for the two two cases the first the chance of disturbance will be occurred from input side input side means this side alternators are inputs and for the input side two possibilities are possible the first is the steam input so steam input means so to rotate the prime mover we are generally giving the the steam input steam input this side uh, disturbance will be come there steam input next is excitation input 
so supply is given from the steam as well as second case is the from the excitation side so any any change in the excitation then some disturbance will be occur so for the case also here for the steam input for the same condition is possible okay same condition is possible so we will remove this that will be useful for the next calculations next calculations okay so second case for the load side just look at for the load side so if you are connecting at the load side if the load changes the load side any load will be changes then some disturbance will be occurred on the alternator some disturbance will be occurred on the alternators so by using these disturbances we can understand so how the synchronization power will be transferred from this input side to this load or how the synchronization power will be transferred from the one alternator to another alternator okay otherwise one machine to load okay so this is about this is about synchronization methods and how to alternators operated in parallel okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you